By running on this treadmill, fitness trainer Walker Higgins is helping U.S. military troops. So is LSU student Herbert Wallace III. I believe I came in 210 and I left out 170. Both men joined a study at Pennington Biomedical Research Center in Baton Rouge, funded by the U.S. Department of Defense. Our elite forces like the Rangers are burning between five and 7,000 calories a day. And they underfeed, even if we provide them with enough calories, they don't eat. Dr. Jennifer Rood says doctors know that your testosterone declines with rapid weight loss. And that's what she saw in her first study. Two groups of men had restricted calories and exercised a lot. They all lost the same amount of fat, but the men who were given testosterone injections to keep their hormone levels normal gained muscle. The group without the testosterone injections lost fat and muscle. That's what happened to Walker. I could tell just from what was happening in my body that I was definitely diving into my, uh, my fat stores and burning muscle. We're learning more about the role of testosterone in maintaining muscle mass and maintaining performance over the long term. And that's why this study is so important for military, so soldiers can perform at their peak. And it's why Dr. Rood is starting a second weight loss study of young men. This time, it's with a one-time, long-acting testosterone injection to see if keeping testosterone levels normal can help minimize muscle loss. From Baton Rouge, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. Second phase of the study is looking for men 18 to 35 years old who are physically active. For more information on that, go to our website, wwltv.com.